What do you know about HIV and HIV testing? Today, you are going to learn about HIV and HIV testing. We will talk about the difference between being infected with HIV and having AIDS, how someone can get infected with HIV, and about how HIV can be prevented. We will also talk about why you should get tested for HIV. Later, we will talk about some types of HIV tests and explain the meaning of test results. So, what is the difference between HIV and AIDS? The letters HIV stand for Human Immunodeficiency Virus. HIV is a virus. A virus is a type of organism. Unlike other viruses, once you are infected with HIV, it stays in your body forever. When you are infected with HIV, the virus damages your immune system. Your immune system defends your body against diseases. HIV is the virus that causes AIDS. The letters in the word AIDS stand for the Acquired Immune Deficiency Syndrome. HIV and AIDS are related, but they are not the same thing. Let me explain. Immediately after being infected with HIV, most people do not feel any changes in their bodies or in how they feel. However, three to six weeks later, some people can have symptoms or signs such as fever, weight loss, a rash, a sore throat, swollen lymph nodes, and feel tired. If you develop these symptoms or signs three to six weeks after being exposed to HIV, that means you have an acute HIV infection. An acute HIV infection is your body's initial reaction to HIV. However, these symptoms or signs do not mean you have AIDS. Even though you will recover from an acute HIV infection within a few weeks, HIV will stay in your body forever. Because HIV damages your immune system or defenses, over time, you can get diseases that your healthy body could normally fight off. When you get these diseases, that means you have AIDS. If you have HIV and do not get the treatment you need, it can take 5 to 10 years for you to develop AIDS. People who are infected with HIV or have AIDS can appear completely healthy. They might not look sick. In fact, they can look like people who do not have HIV or AIDS. There are many people who are infected with HIV and do not know it. But they are carrying the virus and can infect others. Anyone can get infected with HIV. It doesn't matter how old or how young you are, or if you are male or female, straight or gay, or if you use drugs or do not use drugs. It doesn't matter who you are or where you are from, but it does matter what you do and who you do it with. HIV is transmitted or passed from someone who has HIV to someone who does not have it. HIV can be passed between men and women, between men, and between women. You cannot get infected with HIV from saliva, sweat, tears, urine, or if someone coughs or sneezes around you. You cannot get infected with HIV through bites from mosquitoes or any other insects, even if they bite someone with HIV and then bite you. HIV is not transmitted through everyday contact. So hugging, sharing a bathroom, shaking hands, sharing food or drinks, and kissing do not transmit HIV. You can get infected with HIV from blood, semen, pre-ejaculate, vaginal fluids, even if a woman is not having her period, or breast milk. You can get infected with HIV through vaginal or anal sex without a condom. You can also get infected with HIV when you share needles or syringes to inject drugs such as cocaine, heroin, crystal meth, hormones, or steroids. The more often you have vaginal or anal sex without a condom or share needles or syringes, the greater your chances of getting infected with HIV.
But remember, you can get infected with HIV if you have sex without a condom or share needles even just one time. A woman who is infected with HIV can pass HIV to her baby during pregnancy, birth, or breastfeeding. An HIV infection can be prevented. HIV can be prevented by using condoms during sex, not having sex, or having fewer sexual partners. There are situations that make it hard for you to remember to use condoms, such as drinking alcohol or using drugs, selling or buying sex, taking drugs or medications that are sexual stimulants. So remember to be extra careful during these times. By talking to your sexual partners about HIV, you can find out if they are infected or at risk for HIV. However, keep in mind that your sexual partners might not tell you if they have HIV. Or your sexual partners might not know if they have HIV and they might look completely healthy. Also, your sexual partners might not know if the people they had sex with in the past had HIV. You can also prevent getting infected with HIV by not injecting drugs. But if you inject drugs, use clean needles or syringes and never share them. As a last resort, bleach might help remove HIV from used needles and syringes before they are used again. So why should you get tested for HIV? Because the only way to find out if you have HIV is to be tested. Medical professionals recommend that you get tested for HIV just in case you were exposed to HIV and do not know it. Also, you may not know if the people you are having sex or sharing needles with have HIV or if they are having sex or sharing needles with someone else. When HIV is diagnosed and treated early, you can work to stay healthy longer. Staying healthy can help your family and those who depend on you. By telling your doctors you have HIV, you can get the medical treatment you need. If HIV is left untreated, it can cause serious health problems. If you are pregnant and are infected with HIV, there are medications you can take to prevent your baby from becoming infected with HIV. You can also take steps to prevent infecting others, such as using condoms and not sharing needles or syringes. You can tell those you have had sex with or shared needles or syringes with that they should be tested. In most places, there are services to notify partners that they should be tested. Learning that you are infected with HIV can have a strong impact on your life. Knowing that you are infected with HIV can be stressful. People who have found out they are infected with HIV can feel isolated or all alone. Also, some people with HIV might have problems with money, health insurance, or have more medical expenses. However, there are many resources to help people with these problems. Although scientists are working on a vaccine for HIV, there is no vaccine that is approved and ready to prevent HIV. And there still is no cure. But if you have been infected with HIV, there are medical treatments available to help you live a longer and fuller life. There are many tests for HIV. The type of test you can receive depends on your medical needs and what is available where you are getting tested. You can be tested for HIV using a sample of your blood or a sample of your oral fluids. For a blood sample, blood is taken from you just like if you were getting any other blood test or with a finger stick. The oral fluid sample is collected using a small instrument. For some HIV tests, you can get your results the same day you got tested, usually within minutes. These tests are called rapid HIV tests. For other HIV tests, your blood or oral fluid sample is sent to a laboratory for testing. For these tests, you may need to wait one to two weeks to get the results. Also, you might have to return to the place where you got tested to get your results. Even though waiting for your results can be stressful, 
It is really important that you get your results to know if you have HIV. There is something else very important you should know about HIV testing. It can take an HIV test up to three months to detect the presence of HIV in your body after you become infected with the virus. The time it takes the HIV test to detect HIV in your body after you become infected is known as the window period. During the window period, it may be too soon for the HIV test to correctly show that you have HIV. In other words, if you get an HIV test during the window period, your HIV test might say you are negative, even if you are infected with HIV. But if you are infected with HIV, you can transmit it to others during the window period. So, it is especially important to remember to use condoms and not share needles or syringes during this time. For this reason, if in the past three months you did things that could put you at risk for getting infected with HIV, you might need another HIV test in the future. In some cases, you can get an early or special test to help you find out sooner if you have HIV. These special or early tests can help you find out if you have an acute HIV infection. Remember, an acute HIV infection is the body's initial reaction three to six weeks after being infected with HIV. If you think you got infected with HIV recently and have symptoms or signs of an acute HIV infection, you might need a special or early test for this. You can ask your healthcare provider if a special or early HIV test is available and right for you. There are two results for HIV tests, negative and positive. A negative test result means that HIV was not found in your body. But remember, because of the window period, it may be too soon for the test to show if you have HIV. So, you may need another HIV test in the future. Or, to find out if you have been infected recently, you might need a special or early test for an acute HIV infection. A positive HIV test result can be preliminary or final, depending upon whether or not you had a rapid HIV test. If you received a rapid HIV test and the result was positive, this is only a preliminary positive test result. A preliminary positive test result means that you could be infected with HIV and could infect others. However, this is not the final answer. If the rapid HIV test result is preliminary positive, it must be confirmed with an additional HIV test. The additional test will tell you whether or not you are infected with HIV. It can take a week or more to get the final test results. It is very important for you to get your final results so you can find out if you have HIV. For all types of tests, a final positive test result means that you have HIV. But remember, this means that you can work with your healthcare provider to get the treatment you need and to prevent infecting others. Your HIV test results will be explained to you. Feel free to ask questions if you do not understand your test results. Here are a few points to remember. HIV is the virus that causes AIDS. HIV can be transmitted from person to person through sex without a condom or by sharing needles or syringes. HIV can be prevented by using condoms during sex, not having sex, using clean needles and syringes, or not sharing them and not injecting drugs. If you did not get your test results the same day you got tested, make sure to get them when they are available. If your rapid HIV test is preliminary positive, you will need an additional test to confirm the results. For more information about HIV testing, ask your HIV test counselor or contact your healthcare provider or local or national health agency. Thank you.